Yeah, first I would just like to start out by saying, you will never know me. You will never know me because when you watch these videos, it's not really me. And I'm not saying that I'm acting necessarily, but I try to make things interesting and I try to do it in a way that will hold your attention, but this isn't how I really am. For example, I would never impose my ideas, my beliefs, or, well, I shouldn't say beliefs because I don't really have any beliefs. I, I base everything, all my knowledge on my own experience in life. That's really the only way you can really know anything is through experience. Unfortunately, I see humanity as really not that way. They more or less go on belief systems and cultures and customs. They Most people don't go by pure experience, um, for the most part anyway. Not, that's not what I've seen. But anyway, as I was saying, I don't impose my my own ideas about life in reality, I don't impose myself that way. Um, it's hard to, to put into words, and words are cheap, of course. Actions are much more stronger than words. I'm a very sexual person, so I choose to not have friends because it's basically impossible. Um, anyone I ever come in contact with, either I like them or I don't. And if I like the person, it has to be a guy because I don't mess with girls. Um, what can I say? I, I just don't see a point, any point in really being close. I mean, how can you be close, truly close with someone and not be sexual? I don't, I don't really see how. I mean, maybe, possibly, I'm not saying it's not, not possible. You know, I've often wondered, like, could I ever do that? Could I ever just be friends with a guy and not want to have sex with him if I liked him, that is? And if I didn't like him, then why would I want to even be his friend? You know, I mean, I'm very visual. I mean, I could never go for someone just by based on, um, you know, uh, similarities of, like interest or whatever. I, I could never do that. I'm very visual. I have to be attracted to someone um, to really be interested. Now, I'm not saying there's no exceptions to the rules. I just, well, I don't think I've ever found any. I mean, maybe, but they, I mean, they at least have to be somewhat attractive. They have to have something I like about them. Um, you know, it's hard to put into words again. And another thing, you know, it's like when I do these videos and I look like I'm imposing my, my will or I look like I'm trying to give up my, my own empowerment because, you know, I, I'm not like that in real life. I don't give up my empowerment. I'm very self-empowered and I would never, like for example, I would never blame somebody like I would never say, oh, it's all your fault or I'm just not like, that's not me. Uh, I don't do that. I'm very self-empowered. Um, that's just not me. You're, you're not seeing me. I'm just, I'm trying to make things interesting. You know, I, I, I don't, I mean, that's so immature to say, for example, oh, well, that, you know, they put, um, toxic chemicals on mattresses because of smokers and it's all their fault. Well, yeah, I mean, in a way it, it is because of smokers that they put toxic chemicals on beds, but however, it can't be all their fault. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, different things that come into play with that. There's a lot of things. I mean, it just gen in general, it's just a fire hazard. However, I'm very careful. I don't smoke. I don't, I'm not stupid. I'm not a drunk. I don't do drugs. But, you know, in, in most society and in, in most humans do um, drink and smoke. And, well, maybe not most, but a lot, I, as far as I can tell, they do. Maybe they're just, you know, care, most people are just careless, so they need chemicals on their mattress. But, you know, I'm not one of those. I don't want chemicals. I don't want unnecessary chemicals in my environment. You know, I don't want 
really, I don't want chemicals in the environment at all, but what can you do? It's already there. Um, you know, every, there's a balance to life. Everything has a balance, and, you know, just this is many much good there are in people, there's just that much more bad in people. I mean, it's just reality. Um, what can I say? But you'll never know me. <laughs> so don't think by watching any of my videos you'll ever know me. You'll never know me. And even if you did know me, it would still be just based on your perceptions, really. If everything's about perceptions. So I guess I just should end here. And yeah. Just when you watch my videos, keep in mind I'm a very spiritual person, and that's not—it's not really how I am. Um, I don't know what else to say. Take care.